If you were able to take the time to ask most people about how they feel about where their life is at, would they be happy? So, uh, just driving around the city here, enjoying some coffee on this evening. And what I wanted to talk about tonight the thought that was running through my head was how gossip leads to the beginning of simping and to the ending of one's individuality. Now, uh, I've worked a lot of jobs in my life types of jobs and one particular instance that comes back very frequently is the smoke break the smoke break is a dangerous place to be in the job a lot of times the very place where they uh, the gossip begins would be like, a, for an example, would be in the smoke break room. There's always two people that want to get together and start, you know, talking bad about the company, bad about other workers, you know. And then all of a sudden it's like, oh, you don't want to talk bad about the company? Oh, you don't want to join in the insulting of other employees? Well, then uh, you, you're not allowed to be part of the group. And what these people are gonna do is they're gonna find a way to push you out. So you really gotta be extremely cautious in a lot of these situations because, uh, you know, it's, it's the group think thing. It starts with two people. Next thing you know, it's three people. Then you got a whole group of people that if you don't think just like they do, then they gotta get rid of you. So what are my thoughts on chivalry and kindness? Well, do I think that uh, chivalry is a, a form of simping? No, no, not necessarily. Uh, it can be though, if it's, if it's done for people who just abuse, you know, what you're, what you're trying to do for them, you know? I mean, I mean uh, you should use some discernment to decide where chivalry is necessary and those who are not deserving of your chivalry and your kindness, you should kindly let them oblige themselves. So really in conclusion, uh, gossip is a very quick way to turn in, into a simp. You know, somebody that's just gonna complain about the problems, you know, and you're either gonna wind up, you're either gonna wind up making somebody pay for you, or you're gonna wind up paying for somebody else. But either way, that would be simping, which would not be following your passions in life and your dreams. most certainly don't want people running you over in this life all because you uh you have individualism and you think for yourself so just beware of the simps out there because they're going to try to get you to do what they want you to do otherwise they're just going to turn against you so Having said that, have a good night.